We spoke with Republican State Representative Patrick Neville of Castle Rock today. First time since the GOP State Assembly where Neville nominated Joe Oltman for governor. Oltman, the conservative activist from Douglas County who was suggested executing Governor Polis and executing more than a dozen U.S. senators, journalists and various political opponents. We asked Neville, the former Republican House Minority Leader, why he would nominate somebody for governor who said, listen to what he said. You are a traitor. <laughs> so that's what I sent to uh, Governor Polis. Gallows. I had to yeah. stretch that rope. The premise of your question I think is off. That never happened. You never, it was a joke made in jest. I did call for the hanging of traitors 100% because traitors the nation, if you go and look at what happens for treason, it is punishable by death. And so I think they should be hung two inches off the ground so they choke to death. He asked me last minute and quite honestly, I thought it'd be a little bit humorous to do it and, and go forward with it. But I think the premise of your question's off. It's not fundamentally flawed to talk about hanging tre treason, treason as traitors. It's not. What it is, is it's a fact. I think he's been mischaracterized by a lot in the media on what he's actually done. If you don't like me talking about the gallows and hanging those that are traitors against our country, change the law because it's in the Constitution that you should be hung. You know what? Bottom line, we need some more humor. And so people get so threatened over humorous jokes, and that's what it was meant to be. The um, adequate response for treason is 100% being hung by your neck till you're dead. I don't even care if you're two inches off the ground as long as you can't breathe and you're a traitor to our nation. I, I said it, sorry, sorry. Vengeance is God's, but consequences belong to us. That is Joe Oldman, who's got quite the following in Colorado's Republican political circles these days. At the state assembly, Oldman ultimately declined the nomination for governor after he used his speaking time to support some of his allies, Senate candidate Ron Hanks and Secretary of State candidate Tina Peters. Both of them won big and got the top line on the Republican primary ballot.